It says that one who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Mm -hmm. So we got battery in the junk drawer. We have Jesus that sticks closer than a brother. It indicates that we have glue in the junk drawer. It's like we, we need some glue. Anytime you think you're enough to keep someone in your life, you're mistaken and know that you might lose what you think you can hold on to. Mm -hmm. Be like, oh, relationship. Yeah, I had the swag. I had the game. I had the juice. I had the perfect <laughs> date to snatch, to bait and hook. And yeah, I got her. Know this, brother. You aren't the good that's going to keep her. You might say, oh, I dressed a certain way. You know, I, I was at the club looking right. You know, I got his number. I gave him a fake number first, so the second time he came around. Now it's the real number. And so, okay, that might have worked. Or, you know, I saw him on campus. I, I curbed him for about a semester and a half. Then I finally said, we, we, can, we can talk after cat. We can walk into class. You know, whatever y'all do. No Netflix and chill. But, you know, y'all can do something to get to know each other. Finally, you can say, you know what? It was my playing hard to get is what stuck. And no, sister, that won't be able to keep him either. It's God's glue. And he says because they're coming together in their own glue, and just like the stuff we glue on the wall, the adhesion starts to lose its stickiness, and they start to fall apart. And God said, I am the only one that can keep people together. And so now when I look at marriages, and I love marriage, I love it, but I really have a heart for people that try to do it without God. Because there's nothing to keep you. It's like I can have a very, I can wake up and have a very bad day. It's God that's going to tell my wife, you got to love him regardless. Yes. Woo! Oh, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, thank you, sis. I got one person in church. In <laughs> it's like when I, you know, want to do me. I want to focus on how I feel. It's God that says, no, you need to stick it out with this one. It's, it's you got to put in the work. You got to sacrifice. You got to lay down your life and still choose to love. Not just say you feel love. You know, but what happens is they can come and say, all right, let's do this thing together without God. Know that argument. Hey, hands off. Hands off. <laughs> <laughs> Arguments happen. Watch this. Fights happen. Uh, I'm going to push him. I'm not going to push her because you're a dude. You know, and he said, oh, I forgive her, but I ain't forgot. So I still <laughs> keep giving this wall. I'm offended of what she did last night. I didn't like that she was talking to that dude. And I know they're just friends, but you know, I, so it offends. It keeps pushing. The glue keeps stretching until it snaps and there's no more glue left. Mm -hmm. Then you say, okay, well, I'm just going to find somebody else. But wait, what about the pain that now just happened because the glue strips something away from each other? And it's like, we, we got to look at relationships like this. It's like, if you're a Christian, you know, if you're not a Christian, you can throw what I'm saying out the window. But if you're a Christian or you're a Jesus follower, you're interested in doing it a better way, it goes like this, that we, even if we're dating or getting to know each other or whatever stage of y'all talking that y'all call, it's too many for me to keep up. And it's like, um... <laughs> Let's keep God in the middle from the beginning. Let God be the glue that draws us and sticks us. And say Jesus a hairdresser. Huh? So it's like so now that when we are upset and we're angry, and but we want to separate. Y'all walk different ways. Y'all walk different ways. God says no. We're going to stick this out. It's like, okay, um, that was petty. I can let that go. Okay, we can work on that. I'm going to pray for you. Oh, he yelled at me. You want to leave? And God said, mm, not yet. See, when God is in the center and God's saying, this is what is for you, then this is what keeps you. And I'm not saying every relationship, y'all got to act like y'all married. I'm just trying to give y'all some advice for the future. That when you're ready to say, this is my lifelong partner, or this is someone I want to really invest in, you need a glue that's stronger than you. And that is only found in Jesus. Like, this is what I've been working on. That I'm like, God, keep you being the glue in my marriage. Because there are days that me and Ashley have had disagreements. <clears throat> We're no perfect marriage. And it's like, Ashley's like, you need to take a walk. So you take a walk. <laughs> and even though I took a walk, God's glue said, but you don't come on back. 
and y'all can sit down. I don't want to keep pulling y'all. Y'all make me high. But and here's an example for for my first nine months of marriage, and I'm gonna be very transparent right now. We got into a disagreement. Something happened. I don't even know. You know, you know that's how arguments are. You know, argue whatever. And I remember I got so mad, and I went to bed, covered them. We so poor sleep. <laughs> I gotta go to work in the morning. She mad, whatever. She ain't gotta go to work yet. And I remember I was like, God, you know, like I'm mad, so I'm running to God. God, this woman you gave me, it's like she needs to change. In me. <laughs> and all of a sudden I said, God, I, I just I'm so mad, and you need to touch her heart, girl, because she 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 not doing right now. And, 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 and I'm just I'm loading all this on God, like, and God said. If you love her, then you change. Mm -hmm. And I remember I wrote it down in my journal. I said, if you love her, then change. Not change her. Not wait for her to change. You change. See, that was the glue because my emotions are taking me away from her and God's taking me right back to him. He's like, no, you, you be the glue. Regardless of how she's acting, you be the glue. And ladies, that's the type of man you want to marry. One that's going to listen to God when he's upset. One that's going to listen to God when he's confused. But you know what? He's going to listen to God. Men, that's the type of woman you want. That, yeah, she might get her emotions. She might go on the roller coaster three times. <laughs> I'm just saying, I looked at Tisha. That, that's the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> and you got to say, she's going to love me anyway because God, you're going to talk to her. I know she's going to listen to me. That's what you want. And I remember, I'll never forget that night, and I wrote it down. I think Ashley read my journal. Uh, <laughs> she, she knew what I, she said, if you love me, it didn't change. <laughs> I'm like, what you, what you mean to my stuff? No, I, I left it out on my side of the bed because I read it in the morning before I went to work. So she probably, it's not like she went digging. She probably like, oh, what's this say? <laughs> oh, yes, Lord, you answered my prayer. <laughs> But again, the glue is in God, and it can't be you alone.